Sorry for Simone. She must have been having a hard time coping with her burdens. To the point that she couldn't find meaning in her life until she started working for Heldolf. And with such tremendous powers, too. It's a real shame she couldn't believe in herself. She could have killed us with those powers of hers. I wonder if Heldolf ordered her not to. But more than that, I'm wondering if she could have killed us. Her powers went beyond the typical domain of seraphic arts. They felt more special. Oh. You mean like from an oath? An oath she took not to kill anybody. Humans, Seraphim, Hellions, whatever she's up against, she can do anything and everything but kill them. Feels like it means something, and at the same time, it doesn't. But at the end, it felt like she was genuinely going all out on us. That's how much she wanted to kill us. Even if it meant breaking her oath, losing her powers, and defying her feline overseer. Yes. If she hadn't been hampered by the concentration of malevolence in this area, we were very lucky. She hated me that much. This stone monument looks pretty new. It says something here. Let this be the beginning. Uh, a monument commemorating the establishment of Camlon? The beginning of what, I wonder? Michael had just quit being a shepherd. The beginning of a normal life with his family, I suspect. And also, maybe, the first step toward a world without malevolence. So Camlon's name, the Origin Village, it probably didn't initially mean the origin of the Age of Chaos. He meant it to instill hope. Michael... There's still a chance, Lila. We can make Camlon the origin of hope again. By bringing a close to the Age of Chaos. Indeed. The malevolence is getting stronger and stronger. Are you guys doing alright? You don't have to worry about us. We're fine. Oh. Okay then. Yeah. Just worry about yourself. Victory is ours. Don't get careless. May your soul Yeah. Break down! Break down! Break down! Break 
was a tough enemy. Let's prepare for our next battle. Fearless! 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 Fearless!
can't believe we really beat the dragon. Pretty impressive. That's why you the man, Saray. I know. It's about Edna's brother, isn't it? You might have noticed that already, but if we shoot Aizen with Siegfried... We might be able to get rid of the malevolence and return him to normal. It's still only a possibility. We may need more than one bullet. And who knows if this will even work. Yeah. I know that now's not the time. Sorry. Maybe I said too much. But if we scour the world, we might be able to find another way. Yeah. But Heldolf ain't gonna wait for us. This could be our only chance. I'm not forcing it, you know. Because you'll do it yourself anyways, right? You bet I will. Remember, this place was in the Celestial Record. This stone monument looks pretty... The malevolence is getting stronger and stronger. Are you guys doing alright? You don't have to worry about us. We're fine. Oh, okay then. Yeah, just worry about yourself. Strike! Oh. 
I want to become stronger as a Seraph. You have more than enough talent for it. Don't push yourself too hard. Wasn't worried for a moment. Let's get up! Let's get up! Ready? Let's try it back!
Is that a monolith? Malevolence here is just crazy. If Sir A wasn't here, we'd all be dragons by now. Is Maltellus emitting it, or is it flowing into Maltellus? In either case, the malevolence here is definitely what turned Maltellus into a Hellion. The heart of the malevolence seems to be in the back of the village, and there we should find Heldolf and Maltellus. Let's go! The Hellions in this region are incredibly strong. You must be careful. I will. You guys do the same. We got this! Never underestimate the Shepherd's Posse! So I found this sketchy-looking equipment. Sketchy? You'd have to not know left from right as a merchant if you really think so. You're lecturing me about the ways of a merchant? It's true that its name, appearance, and capabilities are all kind of wonky. But you can fuse it with the same types of equipment. But that's expensive, isn't it? You might think so. But the cost of fusion will be offered at its lowest price ever. Soon this wonky piece of equipment will be a household item. So it is actually wonky? Plus, get this! If you fuse it ten times and then hand it over to the Lord of the Land, guess what happens? The Lord of the Land will provide you, and only you, with a free blessing! Isn't that the same as with any other equipment? 